In this lesson, we will talk about how to use the Cannibal module. Next, we will introduce the connection between the Cannibal module and the Adrive motherboard. First we prepare an Adrive motherboard. Then connect the CAN module to the motherboard through the DuPont cable. Finally, connect the CAN module to the PC via the USB cable. This is the connection method of the burning firmware of the Cannibal module. The shorting cap needs to be inserted in the header of the boot mode. This is the CAN communication connection method and port connection table of the Cannibal module. The shorting cap needs to be inserted in the header of the CAN communication mode. Open the Kangaroo software. Use F5 to open the configuration items. And configure the baud rate on the Candle 0 interface to 250,000. Now the Kangaroo configuration is complete. Click OK to close the interface. Decompress the compressed package. Double click the installation package in the decompressed file to install. No modification is required during the installation process. Just click Next. Click Install. Now that the DFUSE installation is complete, click Finish to close the interface. Before using the DFUSE program, you need to configure the driver first. Open the software installation directory. Choose the drive configuration for installation according to your own needs. Now the driver has been installed. Open DFUSE software. Select the connected device. Click to check the option verification function. Click choose. Select the firmware to update. Click upgrade to update. Upload and verify successfully. Before using the official website to update the firmware, you need to configure the driver first. An error will occur if the driver is not configured. Download the driver on the official website to install, click to download. Click the downloaded driver installation package to install. Now the driver has been installed. Select the firmware. Click on the option connect and update. Click to connect the device that needs to update the firmware. Successfully updated the firmware. Open the configured Kangaroo software. Enter 217 in the address input field. Enter 10 in 1 byte of payload. Select the ATIA option. And click send single to send the command. The command is executed successfully, and the bus voltage data and heartbeat information are returned. This is all of lesson. Thank you for watching.